G'day and welcome back to our Portuguese campaign in Hearts of Iron 4. So we've uh, finally sunk a couple of these battleships over there. I um, don't think we had that much fleet left. We don't. What was the... He's saying we have that many, but we don't. Hmm. Okay, whatever. Um, so we've taken New York, gives us the supply base we need over here. Looks like we might have a decent chance with our marines doing river crossings into Philadelphia. The Soviets still want us on their side, and we can keep doing random research. We don't care about it all. The Mexican Republic have joined the Allies. Well, I guess they've just turned democratic, so I guess after we take Canada and the US, we'll head down to Mexico, and that'll get us a bit closer to Brazil. We've got Philadelphia, so the Americans, 94, we're going to have to take Washington and everything else, Boston and everything up this corner. But that naval invasion should hopefully be drawing a lot of the men off of this line, so we can punch through there a little easier. Got the supply zone sorted out. This one here is terrible. I need these guys to just sort of move around as soon as they can. Lots of losses out in the ocean. And one of these guys just go and sort that out so we don't have to worry about that. And then we can't get over to Washington because we don't have enough men there. Um, what we might actually want to do, very little supply down there, but if we can grab somebody that's up here doing nothing, get them involved in this. Retaking Philadelphia, and yeah, we're going to get crushed here. That's yeah, not going to be good. Let's get these guys out if we can. Alright, maybe counterattack. Just slow them down. Eek. And we could put somebody else in here. Uh, the most useful would be Kaz. We. I have no manpower now. Okay. So this is where we need to start culling the military police, I think. Let's grab a few of them and spam them. Give us 200k more manpower. Come back down to Jersey, grab the close air support. Okay, put them straight onto the east coast doing combat support with uh, everything else. Try and hurt their navy a little. Now we don't have any supply there. Alright, tank it. Uh, because we've lost New York as well. Okay, that invasion's failed. As well as join the Allies, so it looks like South America is going to start turning Democratic. Okay, so these guys just need to hold out long enough. Now we should have a bunch of paratroopers. Also got this guy for some reason. Um, join them. And we don't need to make too many of them. Might that be the last one? And these 20 will join a new army. Freitas, who's a trickster. Okay, they're going to start planning a power drop from there to, say, Boston. I'm going to be allowed to do it until we actually get there. Alright, go and garrison there for now, just so they come over and get ready. Let's try and do a naval invasion in Greece. And the guys we told to run around, probably the ones doing that. Alright, do another, well, naval invasions probably won't work. We've got no supremacy anymore. Though, so, over here, looks like I might be able to take advantage of him trying to destroy us.
good getting into Washington. No. Nope. Alright, very quickly. We would have to wait. Die. No, it's not going to happen. Okay. Ottawa disappearing off the map. We still have some green here, so I guess we might be able to keep pushing down to Boston. What does he actually have left? There's a couple of battleships, big cruisers, little cruisers, destroyers. Enough to sink our subs, that's for sure. Alright, can we be sneaky? No, don't have enough organisation there anymore. So let's just spread these guys out. Saying they can't fight, even though they're not being asked to. Alright, nothing else naval. Um, we should have some transport planes, 41 of them. So let's bring them over here. Bottom of the list. Um, bump this up to 1,000, just so that all the new ones come in. And then these guys will take the air, so they can be blue, they'll be highly aggressive. They will attempt to do a power drop from there. Hmm. Get to Philly, try and free these guys. See if we can handle this. Followed by taking this sort of peninsula. Something like that. See if it'll work. These guys will be added on. Alright, they'll be dead before too long. Which hopefully will mean that they run away somewhere else. It won't be near Philadelphia when we do the airdrop. Now, these troops have arrived. Stupidly, they do this thing across the SNC board. Alright, now supply zones. And a separate one there. So we've got a few going. Just need to extend the American line so they can't concentrate their defensive troops like this. Battle out in the Newfoundland Sea. So what we'll probably want to do is grab... These guys are all going to repair. Alright. Just forget that then. And powers up and down. Alright. Come back to the MPs. Split, split. And disband some more of them. These are going to be the last guys that we create, so shouldn't be any more manpower disappearing there. Still the planes and the ships though. Offensive is going horribly. Let's try and get some of these guys just spreading out. Make some border gore so that their troops have to spread out on a lot of different provinces. Now these guys come over behind. Alright, we're a lot weaker over here now that we're getting rid of these military police. Yeah, don't have enough to cover all of this. Oh. Should also get some planes out there. Bomb Canada. Um, well, on the east coast, we are supreme. Let's grab one of these fighters. Uh, the one without the ace. Send him up here. Do we have a spare ace? Got some dead ones. Do, do, do. Sure. Alright. When they arrive, we should get our supremacy back. Just 
Let's turn this on and we have it. All right, Ottawa and Montreal and taking the other one. Um, actually, we don't have that many nukes, so we'll just do Ottawa and Montreal down to 38. Have another quick nuking of Canada. Down to 12. That was that bombing did it. Just do one more quick one. All right, puts them down on the minimum. So how are we actually looking with them? US, nothing. Uh, Canada, hopefully we just need to take Montreal. Don't think we have much chance of sneaking past. We'll give it a go. We could do a para drop successfully. Vision is still preparing. Are you really? Pretty sure you should be doing your drop straight away. That'd be. Alright. Not sure why para drops don't work sometimes, but let's just quickly go and do Canada. If we drop here and then push there, we have air supremacy, so there's no reason they shouldn't be able to do it. Supremacy on the East Coast, Supremacy in Eastern Canada. Hmm. It's happened in one of the other campaigns. Couldn't figure out why the paratroopers didn't know how to get on the planes. You know, it could just be that we don't have enough planes for them to get on. It takes 55 boats. And 63 planes. We do it with that's the um, yeah, control H. We get ten of them over there. Hmm. And power's still in the tank. And while this is looking weak, try and push on Montreal. Alright, so we still have the uh, big American army there, but we could extend the border and I'll have to worry about retaking Canada from us. Nope. Alright, looks like he's pulling his army around the north there. Alright, that'll get them through. There we go. Into Montreal. He has too many men there to be able to take it, so try and head around to Ottawa. Yeah, that's going to keep happening. Alright, supply. Hey, we took Boston. So one guy filling in the back. This guy coming down and around. Because another port. Don't know where the supply region changes over. Looking good over there. Call in the Soviets. I think we want to stay non-lined, non-lined fascist. Um, some Japanese over there and keep being annoying. Might give us the core territory in Europe that we've worked hard for. What are we doing here? 100% of that one. 100% of this one. Because we have no allies, yeah. But the Soviets would get a chunk of this war. Tyrannus, Turkey. Alright. We are slowly getting down to New York. So, let's take a look at the US 195. Um, Alright, let's just stop doing research at all. And pull these guys through Newark to Philadelphia, and then do a run through Baltimore to Washington. See how that works out. Three military factories. Hey, Canada's capitulated. So we've just taken them by finally getting Montreal, I guess. Alright. No. 
How did they capitulate? Hmm, not sure. Oh, well, doesn't matter. They're gone, and now that our border is all the way over here, the Americans will pull their people away, stupidly, and try and retake that instead of worrying about Philadelphia, Washington, and Baltimore. All right, we have supply in Philly, so they're not going to be able to take it away from us. We have free dockyards. Could try to keep making submarines. We're all on auto now, because the fleet disappeared. Okay. Alright, Baltimore and Washington, which means the US capitulates, which means we have very little to worry about up here, really. Um, let's get these guys cancel their orders they never figure out how to do. And put them up here to sort out this one. Once that's done, they'll turn on Mexico. And they'll try and go down there. These guys, when they... How are we going to do this? Alright. Ah, let's just let it run for a bit. They'll do bits and pieces. Um, still Canadians and Americans over there. But it's the Mexican Republic we're more worried about. Now, who's in charge of the Allies at the moment? Australia. Damn it. And then there's also the Raj. Hmm. Nice we can just get the peace conference over and done with. Alright, that's there, that's there, that's there. Okay. Once they're done, we will put them on this front line and they will also run down here. Charge and charge. Alright. Tankette, don't care. Somebody, hopefully, is doing this. Yep. Alright, I'll swallow up all the little red blobs. That one. A couple over there. British troops. And American troops. Alright, they're starting to stream down to the Mexican border. 124, so that's all of them. Okay. So what we'll do here is, instead of them having this Mexican front, they are going to go sort out these other ones. And then head over there. Alright, they got to do it bit by bit. Almost finished there already. And all the planes. Um, what we should do, just grab, grab the Kaz, grab the, we'll keep the Strat. Naval bombers we should have gotten rid of. All right, bring everybody over here. And yes, select all of them except for the Strat bomber. And no delete all. Okay. Remove. Okay. Now the strap bomber needs to come down nearer to Mexico. Put him directly in there. This guy will go in there. Should give us immediate command of this, hopefully. 1,000 versus 300. I need to get some fighters down here as well. Um, I need to create new ones. We should still have these three. Alright, that will do that. I'm trying to give land back to the US. Alright, everybody's coming down. So, Mexican Republic, how big is their army? It's quite small. 
supply shouldn't be an issue. Except this little province here. Greece, West Coast. That'll be probably from Alaska coming down. They'll keep spreading out up there. But what are you doing? Damn it. Okay, he's sorted. Um, what I was saying was these guys should be on their way to sort out some of these. So I'm doing this one first. Uh, half of them get started on that one. And still manpower problems. Hmm. Okay, well, I'm going to take a short break here. So thanks for watching. Hope you're enjoying it. Let me know what you think in the comments. And I hope to see you again soon for what well, will probably be the last one. We'll try and get rid of uh, Mexico and the last holdouts over there. And probably then call it a day. All right, see you later.